I'm gonna tell you a story. The first thing you have to understand is time does not work the way you think it does. You can call me Oracle because I'm the one who's talking to you. Welcome to the cult. So, I have uninstalled Wizardry 6. I have <coughs> checked on my import and uh, the diamond ring is there, so I have uh, re equipped it to my Valkyrie and then re. Um, Reinvoked it, so now uh, as far as I'm concerned, she's engaged twice. Who? So, I'm guessing that's her decision. Probably someone in the party. Maybe the peacock bard. Maybe peacock the bard because he's a pixie and something tra tells me that he'd be attracted to the warrior woman type, but I don't know for sure. Anyway, my point is, I have installed Loom, which is another classic old game, which is um, very much of the uh, the the Sangita Tantri, the the Songweaver Sampragai kind of uh, Divya Zakti kind of thing, because it's it's essentially like that's like really essentially what it's about. It's about using magic, like I mean, um, using music to um, Samper Guy pronounced to be by singing um, magical effects like you know invisibility. Um, you can you can do some like really gnarly powerful stuff like you can like stop a, a water spout by untwisting it. That's wild. Like untwisting is like wildly un wildly disturbingly um like if considering like reality as a weave which is like what like that's a that's it's an interesting thing actually um in the beginning like um you go uh you go see and um down this this hall of like go down to see the loom which is basically like almost it's a lot more like obviously magical but it's basically exactly the same core concept as uh the loom from wanted um and there's a bunch of, uh, there's uh, weavers that are actually named after the fates, um, which makes sense, but also might be an indication that they're kind of falling to hubris because they're starting to think of themselves as actual fates as opposed to just being like people who are, who are weavers who like, I mean, in this, in the, the world of Loom, like everyone can use magic, like to an extent, as near as I can tell, like the, the shepherds have their magic. Like, it primarily involved healing, and, uh, um, uh, invisibility, actually, which kind of makes sense. Um, let's see what else. Oh, it's pretty hilarious, actually. One of the first things you learn how to do is how to spin straw into gold. I'm like, that's... And what's hilarious is the main character is like, what an absolutely useless thing. Why would you take perfectly serviceable straw that you can, like, sleep on and turn it into something like gold? His name is Bob and Threadbear. He's hilarious. Bob and Threadbear isn't anything but hilarious, in my opinion. There's also this thing, like... Like, it's a 90s era game. So, like, the graphics are, like, meh. Because it's, like, early 90s. But, like, here's the thing about it. So... Think about, like, the 90s is especially in the beginning of it um graphics accelerated leaps and bounds so did sound graphics and sound both accelerated like technology wise save the art just kept head ahead 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 and this is like before we even get into like modern times when we have like blu-ray and hd and all of that but like just the difference between wizardry 6 which was put out in 1990 Versus Wizardry 7, which was put out in 1992, uh, I believe. 
is is astonishing. It's like breathtaking. It's like night and day. So the thing about Loom is it's it's pretty like its animation style is a lot like the the old Sierra games, like Quest for Glory one and two, like um, before it got to Quest for Glory three. Like the difference between Quest for Glory two and three is like a lot like the difference between Wizardry uh, six and Wizardry seven. Um, but like Loom is more of the the older style. It's it's better than Wizardry six, but it's um, I would actually even argue to say it's it's better than uh, Heroes Quest One and Two. That's not quite to the standards of of like Heroes Quest Three and Quest for Glory Three, or um, or Wizardry Seven. But um, the interesting thing about Loom is that uh, the main character it wears goes around with a, a hood up the entire time, and apparently there's this like superstition that it's like like it is pure death to look upon the face of a weaver. Like, to, like, sneak a peek under their hood is, like, actually literally inviting death. Like, uh, and a horrific one at that. And it's funny, like, I'm not going to tell you the result in case you actually want to play the game at some point, because it's a fantastic game. I highly recommend it, but... Um... There's at one point, one dude who's like, I want to look underneath your hood. I can probably force you, but I'm just gonna ask you. Like, is it? Well, actually, he opens it up. And is like, is it true? When people see your face, they look underneath their hood, that they suffer a ghastly death that's gruesome and horrifying. And Bob and Bob and Thurber is like, you know, I don't know. No one's ever actually tried. Like, and that guy's like, I want to see. Really? I mean, okay. And Bob immediately agrees because he's like, whatever. As far as I know, nothing's gonna happen. It's like, a, it's like a like everyone's heard that story. No one's actually ever tried. Now you got me curious, dude. I love like Bob and Threadbare. It's like he doesn't really need money, which is why he doesn't value gold. But like. He will always value a place where he can sleep, which is why it's like, why would you do this to such a good place to sleep? You have like a nice pile of hay. You can take the best nap out of the straw. What do you, why would you turn it into gold? I live on an island with a bunch of other weavers. I don't really need anything. Of course, the entire plot of the, uh, the game takes place in, like, a day or two, so you don't even really have to eat, like, still. That's the thing. That's the thing. You never actually have to worry about eating. He does have to worry about sleeping occasionally. Like, he takes the odd nap, but, like, he takes the odd power nap, but that's about it. Anyway. Misery 7 and Loom, yo. And I'm going to grab this one. I will stop yet. And the booty bus, booty bus, booty bus, booty bus, booty bus. Woo! When the gas is with the lightning and the atmosphere, the matter soup ball around us all over wheels and the over and underpinning all we say. Round about the marches of reality and the booty bus, booty bus, booty bus, booty bus, booty bus, bus, sweet and the ways of the super that's the abba soupy and the abba super that be the glamour super that be the matter soup we rockin' in the true and the way the true are they as a zoo and they would that be. Try to be kind to the others in the weave and the way the zoo the we a boo and I would say. I'm not mean talking about the Sioux tribe of they, cause I c gotta say true, I do not know a thing of the Sioux, other than the name, that's about it in the true, and I'll try to say what I know, and that's all it be, just trying to make distinctions, you see.
And the boy bath, boy bath, boy bath, boy bath, boy bath, boy bath. Eat on the sweeten up the soup, but in the arbor we be. And to make sure your arbor got cocks up to equilibrium with the lava na and the zakara kavalana, as they say. Sweet with your salty, at the be of the say. And the zakara la, the beetle of the sugar, you see. That be the sweet for super you be, but you gotta have the zakara with the sa, vasra, lavana, and the salt that there be. Then they never see the super be, as you say, kaksa with the uma made the balance of bay, and they get it a spice of all of the nice and now with the say. The booyabas, the glamour, right the abba soup away, and the booyabas, 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 sweet. And that's how they get to it, the gastronomy, and they had to say, or what do I say, the micronutrients. That would be a good thing to have. Oh. Micronutrition, a quick lesson. Nutritional yeast. Baked cheese. I'm not joking. It's delicious. It's loaded with beaker vitamins and stuff. It's like essentially like eating something that's like that. Like this, not like the other thing. And that's what I say to be able to say the micronutrients and that be the way to feed yourself and the way it through be and then the way the supper entity and that what to say as from one entity to another hey and that how they see the zakunami and that would it be from Oracle dream safe we out there in the wheel of the sea and I will not we deceive But if I do I'll try to sight your other be to a beautiful lion now would sign not would be say to not be lying to you in the ugly way and if I tell you true I'll try to be and not be ugly to tell you an ugly truth is a bad way to weave and dream safely out there out there in the weave. From out, from in here, of the cool oracle that's being, and that's how to say good night, you, everybody out there, out in the truth.